was a great warrior. He was a great fighter for Syria, but he also had leprosy. Leprosy is a disease where you would get sores that would eat away your skin. Leprosy has no cure, so anyone who got it would have to go and live alone with other lepers so they would not give it to someone else. Eventually, the person would die from this disease. Naaman's wife had a servant girl who had been captured from the Israelites by the Syrian army. I know of a prophet in Samaria that can heal Naaman of his leprosy. Naaman told the king what the girl had said. And the king of Syria said, Go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. Naaman went and took with him ten talents of silver, six thousand pieces of gold, and ten changes of clothes. The letter said, Now when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Naaman my servant to thee, and thou may recover him of his leprosy. The king of Israel was not happy with the letter. Am I God to kill and to make alive that this man send to me to recover a man of his leprosy? How can I cure his leprosy? See how he seeks a war against me. Elisha the prophet heard of this and sent a letter to the king of Israel. The letter said, Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Naaman came to Elijah's house with his horses and chariot, and came to the door. Elisha sent a messenger to him. Go and wash in the Jordan River seven times, and your sin will come again to you, and you will be clean and well. Naaman did not like this. I thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over me and recover me of this leprosy. Is not Abana and Farpar, rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Why can't I wash in them and be clean? Naaman was not happy when he left. His servants came to him and said, My father, if the prophet had wanted you to do some great thing, wouldn't you have done it? How much rather then, when he said to thee, Wash and be clean. So he went down to the river and washed himself seven times like the prophet had said. When he came up, he was clean. Because the little maid girl was a servant to Naaman, he was healed.